Hello, welcome to Techno Analyst. Today we will see the error which is uh, showing in Windows 10 that this application cannot run on your PC. Uh, actually, one of my friend is facing this issue right now. So I will take his system remotely and we will solve this issue. Let's see. First, we have to open command prompt run as administrative. In command prompt, we have to run uh, one command which is sfe slash scan now. You can see in the uh, description about that what scan now will do. Scan anything the file will be corrupt, it will be repaired. So you have to wait for 100% till uh, the verification is completed. It will take approximately 5 to 10 minutes. After uh, verification is completed, you have to type exit. Don't forget to type exit, otherwise the setting will not save. And restart the system. Client just confirm that the error is resolved. But for you, still issue is persist, then I will tell you some more tactics to resolve this issue. So we will move forward to method 2. You have to open run window. In that window, in this window type ws reset. ws reset command will uh, reset your window store cache. So that's why we will use this command cache are resetting by its own. Once the process is completed, command prompt screen will be automatically closed and it will be show you the Microsoft Store screen. After that, close the screen and restart the computer. Still issue is persist, then we will move forward to method 3. Just type PowerShell and run PowerShell as an administrator. And copy paste this command. This command I will mention in the description. You will not need to worry about that. Just copy paste the command and press enter and this will take around 10 to 20 minutes is completed you will see the same message coming same message appeared again and again type exit to save the setting and restart the system and still issue is persist then move for we will move forward to method 4 open notepad I will give you some code which is available in the description. Just copy paste the code, paste in notepad, and save the file stored back on your desktop. Now, stored back is copied. So just right click over there and click on run as an administrator. After that, you can restart the system and check. Thank you.